okay? <sighs> yeah. <sighs> you saved me, Donnie. Hey, don't mention it. What happened out there? Who are those guys? Flotsam Circus Troop. Why are they after you? I think I heard something I wasn't supposed to. I didn't understand exactly what was going on. But I needed to get out of there. Yeah. Tony, what is this place? It's the underground water channel supplying the town. Really? Also call it my secret base. <laughs> wow. I never knew this place existed. Not too bad, huh? Those clowns will never find you here. Just relax. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to more. Let's play Dark Cloud 2. Now, last time we played, first time ever, the beginning, the opening scene, we took on and by took on, I mean ran away like a little bitch from Flotsam and his circus crew. We kind of got thrown in and have no idea what the hell's really go on. We kind of made our way into what appears to be the sewer. This is actually the underground water channel. So, without further ado, let's find out what the hell we're supposed to do from Donnie. Hell yeah, just got a gun. This is the second weapon that we'll actually be using and uh, actually begin to upgrade with. Um, so this is our left-handed weapon, and I guess we get a walkie-talkie. This is how we're going to communicate with Donnie a little bit and tell us about what the hell we're supposed to do. So now we've actually gained... Oh, well, hurry up. Yep. <laughs> Granted, he was too afraid to go with us anyways, and it's not like he's that big of a help. Because he just gave us his gun, so I guess that's what it is. But now we've actually got a little bit more background into what the hell's going on with our story. We realize we have to get out of our town because the whole world is changing. So, we get introduced to our first chapter, to the outside world. So we're going to try to get the hell out of... Uh, this underground area which is known as the underground water channel this is the first dungeon series of the game where we really get into our fighting scenario whereas at the first uh first part we fought some clowns and that sort of thing but 
that really didn't really do much. So this is kind of what the layout of the mapping areas look. When you reach a, a new dungeon area, this is what it's going to kind of look like. You have each levels and sections and stuff. So to the first floor. Now, as you can see here, there's a time limit, question mark, and then a <clears throat> clear all without healing little things. Those are medals. So I will be 100% in the game, which means I have to collect every single medal. The first medal is, you know, self-explanatory. Time limit to defeat all monsters. You have to defeat all monsters in 2 minutes, 35 seconds. Clear all uh, clear all without healing, which means you have to destroy all the, or kill all the monsters without healing in order to get a medal. And the question mark is one that we have yet to unlock. So let's go ahead and try to go to the first level of the game. Well, for the dungeon, I guess. I'm just going to stop right there and just say, when they do that in video games, it is the most annoying thing. Because if you think about it, they're in their world, and it's not like we would go around our world saying, oh, in order to jump off this cliff into the water, you push the X button or the A button and then do a gainer. It would be like a square or circle button or like the B button. They do that in a lot in Sly Cooper, and it just really grinds my gears. It's one of my pet peeves when I play video games. Just whenever it happens, it just makes me mad. So what he's getting at here is every you have to defeat a monster in order to get a certain item to progress in dungeons. And each dungeon that you go through throughout the game in each different area is a different item in order to progress throughout the dungeon. So through every single level. So you basically you must kill all the monsters. I mean you don't have to kill all of them. You just kill them until you get um, the item for the next floor. And here it's just describing metals. So the thing is you, you may think right now that well if it's just you going throughout the dungeon this is going to get ridiculously repetitive. Well... Yes and no, because there are actually quite a lot of things to do in dungeons. You actually have uh, quite some chests. Uh, chests will give you certain items here. I just got two bombs. Um, let's find out what we got. This, this one's the magic crystal. This crystal tells you where everything is on the map. So it'll show you enemies, and it'll also show you treasure chests. And then if you find the map, obviously it tells you where the hell the map is. Um, there are also little things like these boxes that you can pick up and throw and sometimes get you know, healing items or just some health items. Um, they're not that great. Oh, here's one of the other things. This is a clown. Uh, sometimes you'll get lucky and you can get a clown and you get to pick whether you want the red box or the yellow box. Let's start out with the yellow box. Yes, we actually will. In theory, that is a better item. It's a treasure chest key. Just Sometimes treasure chests can be locked and you can use it to open them. So here we go. We're introduced to our first enemy, the sewer rat. Now, as you can see on screen right now, oh, and right now again, uh, you'll see that there. I will be putting up a memo of every single new enemy that we come uh, come across. Um, so that way, it's a little bit something exciting, and you guys can see what's also really good spot to farm enemies, to gain experience, to gain gold. Which are the best uh, enemies for it? So there, we just fought a clown and a sewer rat, and uh, those will be up on the screen right now, along with the newest enemy, Froggy. Now, there are some certain things that will show up eventually, and uh, that I'll be talking about that involves um, uh, certain enemies in the levels and those of you who have played Dark Cloud know exactly what I'm talking about there's a picture taking mode um, which will be explained eventually um, oh shit probably not in this episode damn it bastard uh, probably not in this episode but uh, it'll be something that will be very helpful for those who have had trouble since I will be 100%ing it'll be a little bit of pain in the butt um, in order to try to get every uh, single thing if I mean it's hard for me to explain because I don't want to spoil anything for those who've never played But this is the general this is the gist of the um, The fighting uh, in the game um, You have your enemies and your weapons. So when you have weapons You can um, Upgrade them each of them has certain stats. So here we have our battle wrench uh, It has attack durability. You can see all the stats there each item that you can get rid of allows you to spectrumize. When you spectrumize certain items, certain items will give you certain attributes to your weapon. Now there are uh, crystals that you obtain in order to use, and when you use those, then you actually get to upgrade your weapon even better rather than just um, 
uh, rather than just spectrumizing items that aren't crystals, then you get less out of it. Whereas if you spectrumize an item, uh, it'll give you two, as you can see. Whereas if you spectrumize a flame crystal, you get three. And as you can see, you can build up your weapons and make them a lot stronger, which I'll be doing that eventually. But one thing that I would recommend you do if you're playing throughout this game with me or you play before, but you always want to make sure that your weapons, uh, both your weapons on max are uh, equal or at least close to equal in level, experience gain, and build-up wise. So that way, because there are some enemies that you do... Oh, we got the key handle to get out of the dungeon. Uh, there are some enemies that uh, do more damage with the wrench as compared to more damage with the gun. So as you can see here, my level, uh, my wrench is built up. It's describing something there about the spectrumization, which I just mentioned. But now we have a battle wrench plus one. What this means is we get more synth synthesis points, which means we can use those to upgrade our weapon even further and further. So as you can see, this game has a lot of different aspects for you to do. That's what I like about it. You can, your weapons, you're building up. It's where, it's an RPG where you get to improve your character as a whole, uh, rather than just only certain aspects. Um, now granted, there's not a whole lot you can do with gaining uh, HP and defense. There are certain items that'll allow you to. Um, but other than that, um, it's, it's kind of hard. Uh, I mean, it's nice having just the weaponry in the game. Now, uh, here's my weapon is broken, and then you have repair powder that you get to use, so you just have to make sure constantly that your weapons are always, um, they always have, uh, their durability, and so, uh, you don't get screwed and your weapons don't break. So that was one of the crystals, uh, I just got one from that rat that was a hunter crystal, those are the ones that you use to spectrumize, um, oh, here's a power crystal, actually, those ones are really, uh, rare to find just randomly, because they're based on attack, I mean, attack is one of the I mean, it is the uh, stat that uses uh, for every single buildup of a weapon that you need to have every single time in order to build up a weapon. So here we're shown with this kind of like a heaven or hell kind of thing. And then if you get the angel, which I did, it'll give you something positive. And if you get the devil, obviously you get something negative. The things that you can get, I believe, are health, uh, cure status, um, experience points, and then giving your weapons all of their health back. Which that kind of sucked that I just repaired my damn, uh, I just repaired the gun and then I just got full, uh, repair out of that, which that's okay. But this is, this is the only thing about this game is it, it can become pretty repetitive because there are times when the levels get extremely long, um, that, uh, you're going through just many, many levels and many levels. But if you ever played Dark Cloud 1, there's actually a section in the game where there's 100 floors that you have to go through. In order to fight a second boss at the end of the game if you didn't know that sorry for spoiling it for you but it's terrible there's so much that you have to do it's it's gotten to the it's kind of it's not a drag but it takes flipping forever like it is almost not worth it I've done it before twice I don't know why I've done it before twice but it's a pain in the butt but it is kind of worth it at the end so we're nearing the end of taking out all of these enemies there we go sewer rat done as you can see um, yeah, here we go. All enemies, monsters defeated. Now you can pres you know you can go throughout the level uh, without worrying about monsters or anything. But there's no point staying at the level. Um, now, as you can see, when I was doing damage to that rat, originally I believe I was doing either nine, eight, or nine damage to that rat. And then after gaining one level up, obviously I was doing eleven to twelve. Uh, that means for every time you get a level up in your weapon, your ABS bar, your experience bar fills up all the way. Your weapon stats will increase. Now. This low of weapons, because our weapons are the first weapons in the entire game, um, they will not level up, as, or they'll level up very quickly, but they won't increase uh, like their attack status very much at all. So as you can see, I believe the Battle Wrench's attack status was at 8 or 9, and now it's at 10. So it won't increase as much, except for when your weapons get uh, increased a lot better, all, most of, if not all of their stats will begin to increase at uh, some point or another. So that being said, uh, we finished up the first level. Let's see what happens when we progress to the next. And let's see if Donnie can tell us anything. But unfortunately, we didn't get any medals besides healing. So that was actually good. So I guess we did get a medal. Um, these medals can be used to purchase certain items and clothing and that sort of thing later on. Oh. So that's what medals are used for. I had said I want to see the outside world to Donnie. But there was a second reason why I wanted to go there.
your flounder, sir. Bon appétit. <sighs> Max, where are your manners? Eat your dinner. Um, father, I'd like to ask you something. Yes? Well, about mother. Where is she? I'm sure I told you this already. Your mother is doing important work far away from here. But what's the name of the town, and what job is she... It's nothing for you to worry about. Eat your dinner. That's kind of an asshole. <sighs> this is just how you always are. You don't tell me anything. <laughs> he also does seem like a spoiled little brat, I guess. I mean, not so much. I mean, he is the protagonist Yo, of the game. <laughs> Would you like me to go Damn, look at that guy's mustache. That's on point. Alrighty then. So that was the first representation of, I believe, I guess would be represented as our house. So we seem pretty well off as a kid for someone who's an, an inventor, really. So, the next level, battle with rats. Time limit, uh, attack and defeat enemies only using items. These are throwable items like the bombs that we got um, in the first level. And so... At this point, if nothing interesting is popping up, there's no point in me showing the same repetitive motion of me going throughout each and every individual level. Um, so when I, I've come across something uh, interesting or a new enemy, I will be sure to show it. Um, until then, I will speed it up or cut, most likely speed up, just for your sake. So, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so here we're encountering with a bat, uh, and actually another weapon. There's a bat and a barren balloon. Now, a barren balloon is actually one of the enemies. Actually, no, it's not. Never mind. I was going to say it was an enemy that used uh, a scoop, but you don't know what that means yet, for one. Um, but he's not. So, um, a bat and actually barren balloons both are weak against. Ow, bastard. They're weak against guns. Um, so, rather than using your wrench, you would use your gun in order to attack them. Okay, so this is the first, actually, representation of a, uh, a booby trap treasure chest. Now, I kind of skipped ahead right there. Um, but, basically, the only thing you need to do for these um, is, basically, it's either poison, exploding, or weapon destroying. Now, if you guess wrong, your whatever the trap is, it's going to affect you. So, the trap was weapon destroying. But what you should do is, you should always select exploding rather than any of the other two. Because... If you select any of the two, if you select poison or weapon destroying and it's an exploding trap, the whole thing explodes and you do not get the item inside. Whereas if it's an explo if it's not an exploding trap, then you just get poisoned, which you're saved with one health left and you cannot die. Um, when you're on one health and you're poisoned, you just get lowered to one health. But if it's a weapon destroying, your weapons just get broken. But you still will be able to obtain the item on the inside. Rather than getting rid of the item when it explodes, you actually get the item, and actually here we get a clown, so let's check with the red box, see if we got anything good, so that's not too good, but oh well.
Well, that's all the monsters that we defeated. All of them in the second level. So, we actually got a pretty good... I want to actually check the weapons, uh, because they actually have leveled up quite a bit, and I need to heal myself before I die, that's for sure. Um, still, our weapons have increased a little bit. I, uh, I do need to work on them a little bit. The classic gun is something I can do, um, which I might as well go over that now. Um, so, depending on... It'll show your build-up path. On the left, it shows what weapon you currently are holding, and on the right, it'll hold your paths. Now, depending on the weapon, it can hold either one and up to, I believe, three paths is the max that uh, is in the game for any weapon at all. And on each path, it'll show you blinking red. Now, obviously, you would think in your head that means, okay, that's the thing that you need to upgrade in order to uh, get uh, your weapon to be built up. So... You use your synthesis points in order to upgrade your weapon. So in this case, I need Smash and Beast. I can look through. I actually do have a Beast Crystal. So usually I like to keep at least one crystal uh, in on my weapons at all time. So I might as well just upgrade at least a little bit of Beast on this weapon. And then let's see uh, on our Classic Gun. Now our Classic Gun only has one upgrade path with Attack and Cyclone. So let's use one Cyclone Crystal just to work our way a little bit up. Uh, in order to get our gun a little bit higher up, uh, at least it'll be a little bit stronger. Uh, certain enemies have certain weaknesses also. Um, if you've seen, uh, that'll be most likely be represented on the uh, video scenes uh, for each new enemy that we encounter. Each enemy has certain strength and weaknesses. So most uh, flying enemies have weaknesses to Cyclone, which is that's why uh, a gun is used for flying enemies. So you have to play around and mix and match uh, and try to level up your weapon stats completely, um, all of them equally. Obviously, you need the ones for building up, but you want to do them all equally so that way you don't get overpowered by um, certain enemies that you actually cannot take on, which would be quite unfortunate. So, but unfortunately for that, I'm going to have to end it here. Uh, we did quite a bit in regard to the Underground Water Channel. We got through two levels, a lot of explaining on uh, how the game works, the mechanics, so um, I'm sorry for that. If you didn't think that it would be that interesting, I apologize, but it's quite a few things I had to go over. So thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you guys. Uh, go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.